Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you all of the books that's on my Kindle and my iBooks. Now these are all of the books that I haven't read as yet. I already have a whole lot of books on my physical TBR, but I just went ahead and bought a lot of books on my, um, well, e-book readers as well. There's always so many books that you always feel like buying more and more and my list just keeps growing. I'm gonna start off with The Priory of the Orange Tree. Now this book was everywhere when it got released last year and it's also a epic fantasy and I was super excited. I tried to stop myself from buying this book for a really long time but then eventually I just gave in and bought this somewhere around the end of last year. Now this um, has a lot of well, queendom and heirs and ancient enemy awakenings and dragon riders and so many things that would make fantasy exciting so I am really excited to get into this book now this is a very um, well huge book if you haven't seen this it's I think over like a thousand pages or so and this is like probably intimidating for a lot of people but I've really kept this as yet I haven't gotten into it but I'm sure I'm gonna get into this sometime this year for sure Christmas Shopaholic. So when I found out that there was another book by Sophie Kinsella that was coming out, I just had to buy it. Now I like all of the Shopaholic series and Becky is just so much fun. Yeah, in some books she's a little bit annoying but it's still okay. I still don't mind reading about her. And the prospect of Shopaholic during Christmas just blew me over what is better than shopping during that time so i was really excited and i just went ahead and bought this book so if you are a shopaholic series fan then don't forget to try this book i have this schedule for some time later this year maybe around christmas time i'm thinking just to get into the spirit but if you have already read this one then do let me know what you think about the book so i am actually really late for the truly sd truly dvs trilogy uh, i think the third book came out early this year if i'm not wrong so i know that i'm late but this book was really enticing i really wanted to get through this trilogy this year and so i went ahead and bought this book uh, this is again uh, a thriller but it's about um, some brilliant thinkers and inventors and artists and then murder and mayhem so yeah this book was truly exciting and um, this is not fantasy by the way and I was really excited to read some thrilling novels because I don't think I've read a good thriller in a while um, I think the last I read was um, the, uh, the woman in the window but I don't think that was as exciting as I thought it would be so I'm really excited to try this series this year one of the truly empowering and eye-opening books that I read last year was The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. So when she came out with On the Come Up, I really had to read it. Now I never really got time to get to it, but there's nothing more interesting than facing yourself to realistic things that happen in this world very insightful very unflinching and about a story of fighting so i'm really uh, excited to read about this book this year if you have read this book let me know your thoughts on this book below aurora rising so i um i don't know if i should call myself an amy kaufman j christoph fan because i haven't really read any j christoph books but i seem to keep buying books by j christoph no matter what i think i just bought the illumine series this year last year and i haven't got to reading around that year but those are physical books and i really mean to get into reading it this year but i just went ahead and bought the aurora cycle series well the first book at least and the second book is coming later this year and this is very sci-fi-ish just like um i'm assuming the illumine files so i'm really excited to read this book and i can't wait to get around to it. 
We Hunt the Flame. So this one is the first book in the Sands of Arabia series and I think the second book is coming later this year. This is very um, Arabic mythology or not necessarily mythology but Arabic um, culture oriented book and it is extremely exciting because I don't think I have read another book of that genre um before i think maybe one or two but mostly around egypt and all that so this one was a really interesting prospect i hope to get to this somewhere later this year but if you have already read it don't forget to let me know your comments below house of salt and sorrows so um i was initially not planning on getting this book but then i saw it and then i couldn't control myself and i ended up buying it so this is the first um book i'm not sure if this is a series if it is let me know but uh, again this is a fantasy and it's got like um suspicious uh, deaths and a mysterious stranger and um a sheltered life in a manner by the sea and everything that sounds really like exciting uh it's got a it's got um tragic deaths and plagues and drownings and uh, i'm so excited to read this book so um i am probably going to start this sometime mid this year i'm thinking um and then i will let you know how i find this book right after now a reaper at the gates okay this book was actually a mistake i wanted to get an ember in the ashes i have not read this trilogy and i ended up buying a reaper at the gates and i was like oh no i spent money on the wrong book so i am yet to buy an ember in the ashes i can't really like read this book until i finish the first book in the series so i will buy that soon i'm hoping once i'm at least halfway through the list in my kindle and then i will start the series after this is epic fantasy though so i'm a little bit skeptical uh, but i shall see how it goes so the serpent and the dove this is again a i'm thinking a trilogy or a duology but this is the first book and i bought this in a whim i saw this everywhere and the cover just looked so gorgeous i really wanted to get the um paperback version of this but i saw this on kindle and i just had to buy it Bear in mind that this book also has a lot of witch hunter romance, intricate magical systems, really nice female friendships and morally grey characters. So it just feels like this book has a lot in it and with the cover, I really want to get into what this book is about. Hopefully I will get to this sometime, maybe mid of this year. Children of Virtue and Vengeance. Now this is the second book of the Legacy of Orisha. I have the first book as a physical paperback but I haven't gotten to reading it yet. But I have seen this and the previous book in so many places and bookstagram is always full of it that I really wanted to try it. And I kind of assumed that I would end up liking the first book and I got the second book as well. So hopefully I will enjoy this um these two books uh later this year. Planning to again look, take a look at this sometime mid of this year. Uh if I'm not wrong, but I'm obviously only going to get to this after I finish the first book in the series. So if you have read the series then do let me know i do know that it has a lot of african vibes in it and i'm really excited to be reading about a lot of different um cultures this year so this one would definitely be one of my favorites i think we hunt the flame is more about the middle eastern kind of cultures and i've also got one later in this video that talks about a different folklore so let's take a look at that as well So I went ahead and bought the paperback version of The Winter of the Witch sometime earlier this year and then realized that I did not have the first book Bear in the Nightingale of the Winter Night trilogy and so I had to buy this quickly over Kindle and I am really excited to start this this is the other folklore that I was mentioning and that was about this is about a Russian 
culture and i'm so excited to get into this series this series was also everywhere on social media and it seems really exciting with like winter demons and snow drifts and russian wilderness oh this whole book gives me the feels i probably am thinking about picking this up winterish maybe somewhere before christmas this year but uh, i don't know if i can hold it for so long nevertheless if you have read this do let me know what your thoughts was ninth house by leigh bardugo so i have read only six of crows by leigh and i would be meaning to read crooked kingdom for some time now but it always got like sidetracked but when i saw ninth house this is more of an adult book than of a young adult and i just realized that this is also part of a series and not standalone but i got really excited about this book it um it well first of all there are a lot of snakes on covers this year i think this is one of the few books one of the many books that i'm noticing that there are snakes on and what what's the deal with snakes anyway is that like a 2020 thing anywho so i uh, really am excited to start ninth house as well this has a lot of well, i think this is more um americanish yale los angeles kind of background and uh, this also has a lot of secret societies and occult activities and oh am i really excited about all that have you read the ninth house if you have do let me know what your thoughts are i will be trying to pick this up sometime this year soon Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and more videos coming up soon.